Hello and welcome to Assertiveness, the show that gives ordinary South Africans the space to talk about things that really matter. My name is Nicolette Wachamashile. Today we are going to be talking a little bit about what it means to be fresh in university and living life and really trying to maneuver through all the ups and the downs, all the days that you were broke, all the days that you try to dress up and go to Kong with no money and you know just just the fun times and let's look at the the lighter side of life and and maybe some of the struggles that university students go through that parents are not willing to acknowledge i am joined in studio by precious bundler and kumo and they are going to take us a journey through their university life and how it's been especially going to university in johannesburg Right, before we, go, before we get into all that, let's find out who we're talking to, you know, who you guys are, what do you guys do, and how many courses you've failed so far. <laughs> so, I mean, your parents don't know. We'll start with you, Precious, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So who is Precious? Uh, Precious is a young entrepreneur working towards being the best public practitioner in the world. Yes, girl. Yes. All right. That's who I am. Well, mm -hmm. I'm a student. I'm doing my first year in Demlin for because I've been changing courses now. But I also am a jeweler part time. I do I make jewelry part time. That's what I do. With Which Demlin are you at? Demlin in Bramfontein. Oh, oh, I thought it was the one in Randburg. I was about yeah. to tell you the secrets of that place. <laughs> I feel like the secrets are the same with Demlin. Is it? No, but I didn't go to Demlin. I went to ETA, so they're very close to each other. So I wanted yeah. to tell you the secrets of the area where hey. no one's going to see you. <laughs> You know, when you want to drink, when I want to bust you. <laughs> so tell us, Precious, um, you say you do jewelry. When did you start that? Why did you start that? Uh, I started making jewelry when I was 18. Um, it's something that I always loved, but then I couldn't do because I didn't know where to start. Yeah. So 2013, my father passed away, and then 2014, during my matric finals and late trials, I was admitted to the hospital for let me see the whole period of my exams mm -hmm. and then at hospital it was it's a, it's, a, it's a hospital whereby they deal with depression i was diagnosed with depression but i didn't know i was depressed with major anxiety as well mm -hmm. so thursdays we had classes whereby we did art they taught me how to do like decorate um your your make make a key holder and teaspoons and then from there on i started learning how to make things my own way oh wow I made, look at how that all turned around yeah that's amazing. That's an amazing story. <laughs> it is. It's a great testimony. And what do you do for fun? And don't lie to us because we know you're a university student. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh. It depends on the budget. Yeah. If there is money, then... You're the first is. person to ever admit that. And I love that. Thank you. I'm, I, like, I like to be honest myself. Yeah. I'm very frank. If there is money, then I will go out with my friends and I will buy something, something, some adult beverages, nyana, yeah. you know, some I'm not that some delicious. squashed grapes, <laughs> some yes. squashed grapes, and then, you know, just quench the thirst, you know how Oris quench, quench our thirst. thirst. Yes. Yes, when I kill. Yeah, so I, I like to do that for fun, and mostly just to be in those, I love my space, I'm a person that loves my space very much, I like being in my own room, in the comfort of my own home, yeah. just maybe in self introspection with myself like yeah. where i am with life why was i not doing the things i was planning to do at this month and just to have time maybe to reconnect with god because sometimes we get too busy and we just forget that god is just here and we just do our morning prayers and our evening prayers and we don't really intercede to that point whereby we reconnect with him and we hear him when he actually speaks to us through our conscience so i like to spend that time to actually gather myself and protect my soul and my spirit more than my physical because i'm gonna die my body's gonna be left here and whatever wow you went all <laughs> deep on us but amen <laughs> amen to all of that yeah. so tell me where are you from i'm from bethlehem in the free state it's a bethlehem it's a bethlehem welcome to the show thank you so much for having me awesome and then we've got Bunte. How are well, you? Well, fine, you? thanks, Good. and yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I am great. You remind me of Chi. I don't know if you know her. She was one dealer slash, who is she now? She's still one dealer on Generations. Oh, oh the oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> But you also That's have the facial structure yeah. of her. She's very beautiful. She is. So, Buntle, tell us, who is Buntle? Bunte is a simple girl. I mean, Bunte is ambitious. 
she is a free spirit she believes in that of every day is a day to do and undo certain things nice. you know I, I i learn each and every day and i give thanks for each day because when i go back home i i sort of like reflect you know i just said and it's a spiritual um, right now she <laughs> she's at a point where she likes her space and i used to be that girl but everybody mm. turn up if you get bunkle there bunkle host parties bunkle was just bunkle everybody and right now i can hold them and you know I, I i live by the same you know my mom always used to say um you should know where you come from where you're going and most importantly who you are yeah so i live by that every day you know i i don't restrict myself like i said i'm a free spirited so i i tend to do this and that you know i'm, I'm always on the move mm. but even with that jay like i i find time for myself and you know i just I, just to be grounded yeah to reflect and say okay no wentle you hit it the right path or okay. no you you derailing nyana you know yeah so that's when that's pretty much me i mean i can't really say much because i am also still finding myself every day i learn a new thing and uh, you know i mean just this year i've been through a very hectic phase in my life but it didn't bring me down I think with many people because I never thought I'd experience that with many people it was like how is she going to cope yet I found that acceptance mm -hmm. is key and that's what helped me accepting oh you know what Bontle kwena that was chosen to go through this and you will go through it you know so yeah I just live every day as it comes by faith and je khori you know I believe I have a purpose a greater purpose in life and even though every day I realize you know there are days where you're like oh so this is why you know I meet people that they changed my life Linda and people will be like yo you know you didn't realize Jorge, what you said touched me in this way and that way so I believe I teach and I learn each yeah. and every day mm -hmm. you know so yeah that's basically what what are you studying uh, public relations Damlin Bramfontein oh you you also at Bram yes. okay lovely and what do you do for fun I do a lot of things for fun. I swim, I play tennis with my male friends, I ride bikes with my little brother, I play soccer with him, I watch movies with my parents. I do pretty much anything and everything. Awesome. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Hello, Miss Kumar. Hello. How are you? I'm good in yourself. I'm great, thank you. So who is Kumar? Um to put it in simple terms, Kumar yeah. is is the girl with the rich friends. <laughs> No, <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> it's the people I hang around with. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm basically, I'm a simple person. Um, I believe in being yourself. Mm -hmm. Always, like always and forever be yourself. Keep you, like pull yourself towards yourself all the time. Do not ever derail according to the situation or friends or whatever. I'm a very confident person. I know what I stand for and I will not change for anything. Awesome. That's and what are you studying? I'm also studying public relations. Hey, I attend the public PR. Do you know how hard PR is? Yeah, yeah. But I uh, am yeah, I'm, I'm coping quite well to be honest as Oh, no, I'm not talking about the actual degree. Getting the degree is the easy part. Yeah. The actual so job <laughs> of PR is so hard because people treat you like yeah. yeah, I did PR for, for a long time. So I, I'm just like, mm, I'm PR. But you know what? You guys are still young and you guys can still change the landscape of the I, industry. Nah, I have already you know what I mean? Too. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's great. So tell me, what do you do for fun? Um, <laughs> I actually just go out with my friends, you know, just an ordinary lunch, ordinary dinner, just to hang out with friends. Doing? Yeah, we. Plus, you've got rich friends. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily say it's a budget situation. It's just more about my social circle. We prefer to be together, grow each other, talk to each other, and just be around each other more as we grow. So, I well, we do go out, you know, like partying and whatever, but it's not something that we do a lot. Oh, it's nice. Usually, we just hang around each other and talk about well, welcome our Welcome to the growth. show. Thank you. We're gonna go for a quick ad break. When we come back, we're gonna find out a little bit more about these three young ladies' lives. And hopefully, they can teach you something about life. Because before we actually came onto camera, they said to me, you are never too old to learn. And that's very, very interesting and, and quite exciting for me. Remember, you can join our conversation using the hashtag assertiveness. Please don't go anywhere.